Good morning. It is 8 o'clock. 8 a.m. I drew my curtains and I thought it was the leaf blower. But now it's the, um, the guy with the grass cutting edging machine who's really relishing the attention he must be getting from the early morning busyness, importance. And um, where I live, um, our local borough council has decided over the last year and a half that they weren't going to mow our lawns any, mow our parks anymore. There were going to be these meadow things, and everything was overgrown, and then like tons of logs were. Can you hear? Can you hear the relishing of cutting the edging off this tiny little circle of shrubbery? Anyway, I, my eyes are closed because I'm still waking up. It takes me ages to wake up. I'm not a wake morning person. And so I will get back to my original thought when I remember it, but I just wanted to just explain how I, I really have to have silence in the morning. I know that sounds crazy because I live in London until awakening from your slumber. I think everybody deserves that. going to talk with my eyes closed but I'm just being me because um, I am waking up ah. and I I know I know I must sound like Woody Allen she says putting on her Woody Allen glasses I know like the hypochondria levels that I'm always going on about every arse ache I've got but I've got one of these memory foam mattresses and every now and again it does beat you up give you like a so I just swap around and that usually works so I'll maybe try that tonight hopefully I won't be beaten up by my bed and anyone who's slept in my bed will know what I mean but going back to the, sh the meadows that my local borough council they put log they put tons of logs everywhere and then let it overgrow so that people couldn't walk their dogs and then when there were drunk people or, or like people sleeping in the me meadow grass in the parks they were leaving they're getting drunk they're leaving bottles there smashing bottles there and then of course nobody could see that there was smashed glass there and dogs were getting their paw slashed and people were yeah it was just i mean it, aesthetically it must look nice and yes it does you know it doesn't but ultimately people use people in london use you know, there's the, the volume of the population in london oh my god can you it stopped <gasps> Oh. oh my god. Hallelujah. Next level renovation, like the minerals in my cells. And that felt really good. I was just like, who is this person? Like I felt more alive. So um, that was a revelation this week. And so I'm always WhatsApping my family and saying like, Oh, get this sea salt. It's got the trace minerals that they take out of salt because this, in South Asian people do have a tendency towards diabetes and heart hypertension and heart stuff. And you know, you can't have salt on your food. And that's such a weird thing that they have. They have, they have salt, but they make salt bad for you. They put like, it's basically poison, table salt, but then your body needs salt because you know we're, and then the earth is abundant of salt so it must be good sea salt but you need to be able to maneuver you need to uh, refine that in a way that it's not so it's still organic as opposed to uh, mass-produced so there's good salt and bad salt I wish I knew this stuff like when my parents were alive 
you know, this generational kind of amnesia as to things that they knew already by Vedic kind of tradition, and then the Vedic tradition was knocked out due to four, five, six hundred years of invasion from Islam and Christianity and all those bods turning up and killing the vibe. And then we, you know, we've got amnesia, we can't remember the things that were good for us. And because of these mass famines, generationally the body doesn't know when it's for eating next, so it holds on to food and the body can't process. I'm just learning about. I'm not like a biological person at all that I don't understand, but I'm trying to. My God, what a gracious morning it is today. It's so nice. I'm definitely going to do some jumping today, so come with me jumping and walking. And at some point this week, I'll, I might go into maybe the British Museum and see... Um, one thing that I like to do is go into the British Museum and just stare at the black obsidian mirror that once belonged to John Dee the um, astrologer for the um, Queen Elizabeth II. Queenie! And um, take you around there, marvel at it, which is what I sometimes like to do. I don't go around like sightseeing, I just go and look at things like obsidi black obsidian mirrors. Good morning! <clears throat> How are you today? I. I feel like today is such a beautiful day and this week, like last week was there was heavy energy and there was, it was quite tricky but this week um, the energy feels much lighter. I'm so glad that we've got a little bit of sunshine, blue skies, there's not so much cloud out there and um, yeah no, posy vibes, posy vibes as they say on um, that YouTube channel that goes around all the festivals and does a review of all the festivals. Posse Vines, there's New Yorkshire. Just dipping in and out of them if you can, spending an hour here and there. But yeah, so they they get horribly drunk and they spend huge amounts of money on uh, food, and it's so expensive to go to festivals now. So I just watch them because they they have got posy vibes. Let's go jumping. I walk. Um, I'm wearing this cap that says don't beer the reefer which is obviously a um, take on don't fear the reaper by the um, blue oyster cult which is a brilliant brilliant song from the 80s or the 70s can't remember but I remember I was to eat maybe a year ago like I have friction with the restaurant next door to me and um, it was mainly because they were rude to my mum, really horrible, nasty and uh, they keep leaving their dumpsters outside our gate, our door, which is really like not cool, it's not, anyway it's not a vibe. I had this hat on and he, he looks at it and he read it you could see his little fucking tiny brain working and he goes um, are you on drugs because my hat 
says don't fear the reefer. He said, you want drugs? I said, what are you talking about drugs? I said, anyway, I cast him down to the ground because he's got the biggest, sweatiest, sweatiest cocaine skin you've ever seen. He had the bloody nerve to ask me if I was on drugs. But anyway, he took me such a vicious little weasel of a man he instructed his staff he goes nah let her move it let her move it the bin their bins from outside our <laughs> garden and this has been going on for a number of years and he sees it as some kind of like you've done so I have to make sure that I do them but I dance normally but yeah I don't usually come out in public no but I am now but that trampoline's good you should have a go have you they just take up a lot of room so it's good that there's one there bathroom now and says you don't usually exercise and I'm like yeah I know hello little dolly hello hello pooch pooch I know you're in the nice sunny bit aren't you how are you today puss puss for you. I haven't got any nibbles, Dolly. Oh, I'm having a nice one today. Oh, 
belly rubs. Belly rubs. Oh, what good belly rub you're getting today. What a lovely girl. What a lovely kitty cat. Are you gorgeous? Are you gorgeous, kitty kitty? Oh, hey, kitty kitty. Belly rub. You're gonna get a belly rub. <laughs> oh, Because yeah. otherwise your muscles will just go to 
I mean, growing up, my parents were always like healthy with us. Yeah, yeah. Like they, all, we never had processed foods. We, you know, yeah. we always had like legumes, you know, yeah. lentils and rice. Yes. And then we didn't eat meat all the time. It's like once a week. Yeah. And then fish. Yeah, so no, that's good. That's the way to do it. Yeah. So I think it does matter. From what you eat is very important. What your parents fed you. Yeah. Well, we, you know, that's what I think. You know, that I was saying that because I've got like ten. High cholesterol, oh, and yeah. I said I don't understand why I've got it because I don't eat all the wrong foods no. and uh, and uh, then I read it can be familial, you know, that my brother has got it and that, oh, yeah. and uh, I said well, my parents, did my parents have it? I mean, I don't think that, but then my parents never ever no. gave us processed food because you didn't do that in those days. No. You didn't have microwaves, you didn't have, you know, all this kitchen. Too big, it? We had we had a proper cooked meal. Yeah.